Welcome to Travadine. Joining me today is Shivain Kanna, Senior Manager, Business Development and Trade Policy of USA Poultry and Egg Export Council. Can you tell us more about the Turkey Festival that was held at Pullman Aero City? So the Turkey Festival at uh, Pullman Hotel was held during the Turkey's Lovers Month. Uh, it provided an opportunity to showcase the versatility of US Turkey. Turkey is one of the most popular meats due to its high protein content, range of health benefits and of course great taste. Turkey meat boasts of a variety of applications and it is one of the most versatile meats. You can roast it, you can you know, have cold cuts etc etc. Uh, we are thankful to the Pullman Hotel and Travel Dine for putting uh, the promotion together and uh, you know, we are grateful to Chef Neeraj Tyagi who created his own magic using turkey meat where he used it not only in regional Indian dishes but also in, you know, European, in Italian, you know, pizzas and, and other other uh, cuisines and the turkey was was one of the perfect fits as you can, as you heard from uh, Chef Neeraj Tyagi during his interview. What are the health benefits of consuming turkey and how can the consumption of turkey help beat protein deficiency in India. Turkey is, is one of the most healthy meats. Uh, it is high in protein and low in cholesterol and saturated fat, which makes for a heart healthy meal. It has various vitamins and nutrition uh, and, and eating turkey can be beneficial for all age groups. Now, when we look at India, there is, uh, you know, what we see is there is huge protein deficiency. As per a recent survey about 70 to 75 percent of the population is protein deficient and even protein awareness is is uh, pretty low at the moment so i think incorporating turkey in your daily meals whether you you know you're cooking at home there are some interesting recipes uh, that you can find on our social media handle uh, or you you're going out uh, in the food and at a restaurant i think turkey now would be more and more available uh, to be tried how has e-commerce played a role in boosting the meat sector in India? Definitely, e-commerce has played a pivotal role in expanding the presence and availability of the product. Uh, you know, when we look at e-commerce in 2021, the grocery sales were almost 4.1 billion uh, for the Indian e-commerce, uh, which is an increase of 55% compared to the previous year. Uh, what also has happened is that e-commerce has reached out to tier 2 and tier 3 cities uh, which are also contributing and slowly people are getting aware in these uh, cities as well. So definitely it, it uh, has transformed the way businesses are. There are also platforms that have come about which exclusively deal with meat whether it's uh, the Unicornlicious or other companies like Zapfresh or Meatigo. Have you noticed any interesting trends in the frozen food market in India? You know, the frozen food market uh, has is, is growing phenomenally. I think uh, uh, it is registering growth at double figures. In fact, uh, I think one, one of the main drivers of this market is the Gen Z consumers who are opting for com convenience food. Uh, you know, whether it's uh, french fries or it's uh, turkey meat or chicken meat, it needs home at uh, zero degrees. So uh, it's more convenient and uh, I think that's why it's it's picking up and it's becoming more mainstream. Uh, earlier, it was only synonymous with, you know, maybe some dessert or frozen fruits, but now it it uh, it is moving beyond and becoming more of a necessity when where people are, you know, uh, using it for the convenience factor and the fact that it does not lose any nutrients. Uh, and it is a safe product. Thank you so much for joining us today, Shivay. These were great insights and it was a pleasure having you with us on Travel Dine. Thank you so much.